YouTube, welcome back to another video, and it's a bit of a sad one, only a bit. The car's broken, only a little bit broken, but it's broken. A couple of weeks ago, something like that, I started having little issues with my front brakes, uh, so we, we checked them out, had a look, inspected the discs and stuff, and there were score marks on the discs, so we thought, easy fix, discs and pads, get that in, get that done, problem solved. Changed the discs and pads, and problem, problem not solved, actually, pro problem not solved. The reason I didn't video the discs and pads is because discs and pads have been done to death. So I just thought, sorry, just fix it, get it done, and then get it back on the road. But, with it not just being discs and pads, and we still have a problem, I thought I'd make a video on it because I want to document as much as I can with this car. So why not? I haven't drove my car in like a week or something. I'm getting withdrawal symptoms and I don't like it. What it's doing is, the left side is binding, you can feel it binding, so it's pulling to the left and when you apply the brake, the car's diving to the right, so it's not very safe at all. So fingers crossed, she gets fixed today, because I miss her, I miss her, I really do. I not even had a chance to properly drive it with these wheels on yet. <sighs> Let's get her fixed. Will she start? Fuck me, it's cold. Of course you will. See, as I said, it does feel like it's that side that's not working properly. It's binding and pulling to the left, and then when you brake, the car dives to the right, so it's like that's getting more brake effort than that side. It seems to be worse as well when the car's warm and has been driving for a bit, so I'm gonna take the long route to Tony's uh, so it warms up a bit and I can show you what the actual problem is. Yeah, I'm already having to fight the wheel to stop it from going to the right. I can feel it grabbing as well. It's not like you lift and it feels like you're on the brakes. Turning as well, because I've just put my new discs and pads on. I don't want to fuck them up, because they're brand new. Ugh, cars, eh? Well, I can feel it now, I'm not on the brakes, but you can feel, you can feel it. It's hard to explain, but yeah. So that's not on the brakes and it's definitely slowing me down. Oh, see that? Ugh, minging. Right, like, there it is, fucking pulling me to the left. Thank you. Cannot be arsed with this weather anymore. I'm so ready for summer. I'm so ready to work on my car outside and break stuff in the sunshine. Jesus. This should not be on the road. It's fucking... Right? For fuck's sake. Oh, this is minging. <laughs> God. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, I need to slow down and get past these cars. I know. I'll just break. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Let's get you fixed. Shaft. Shaft. Fuck. So, I've already explained to him what the fucking issue is. This is going to fix it, innit? It is. Hopefully. It is. It's positive. Two new calipers. Although, I, I, it's possible that I could have got away with one. But I didn't want to do that in case I ran into the same problem opposite way around in six months time or whatever, so I'll just do them both and then hopefully she'll be right. Mom, you right off this bag, you fucking one rubber as well. Give me a fucking number. <laughs> Tyrannosaurus Rex, 
he's going to do one side and he's going to show me how to do it I'm going to learn and then I'm going to have a crack at doing the other side of me sin and hopefully not break it even more <laughs> hello, hello so this is what we think the offending article is should we take these out and fucking cut them in half while we're here? <laughs> right, talk to me. What's the uh, procedure? Basically, pipe clamp, but you can do it with more rips. Yep. Just to stop any fluid pissing out. Undo this nut while it's still on, because otherwise you're trying to hold it and crack it. So just crack it and then tighten it back up. Two caliper bolts out, caliper off, bolt off. Job's a good one. New one on, clean it back up. Pipe back in, we'll change these copper seals, blade nipple off, bit of pumping. Nice. Should be done. She fucking better be. And that just stops brake fluid yeah, it pissing stop everywhere. Completely like, but obviously it's, it's a bit majority, of restriction. Majority of it like. So that's a, that's a union, is it? Aye. So you want to crack them off before you take that off, otherwise you just end up fucking nightmare trying to get stuff off at the same time. Yeah. Oh, it's dangling a bait. Yeah, Why do I speak English, like, <laughs> majority of the time? Just wiggle her off. I actually can't believe how easy that is. Simple job. The worst part is, you're getting in there, the union's off sometimes, it corrode in a bit, but other than that, it's, they all literally just bolt on, bolt off. Quite happy with that. Yeah. It should be done in about 45 minutes, eh? 45? No, 45. <laughs> 45? <laughs> Main thing is on here, you don't want any big blots of rust and that, that's the copper washer's gonna kick up on. Just make sure they're clean. The washers are gonna sit on them properly. I'll try new washers, but sometimes you're better off with all washers if they're not fucked because they yeah. surround them and you never get them sealed again. Important point on these bleed nipples make sure they're facing uphill, up otherwise, you can never bleed them. So, there, that one on the other side, they're rounded. So, there you've got bleed nipples right, on top. Yeah. Your air rises to the top. Oh, I'm going to have to paint them all up now. I oh, know that looks a bit tragic. <laughs> so, bolt the new one on. Yeah, just get them again, a couple of threads so you just... So what are you looking for with them if they're fucked? Basically any burrs on them, any big scratches. Like I say, they're, you, you've got a wuss of two enemies. You either use them, these aren't in bad condition. But if you start messing about with new ones... Yeah. You, and then you've got to chip. Like I say, there's a bit of build up of rust on the edge there. You chip all that off and then you've got to hope that it mates again. It's, like I say, you are sometimes not too bad. Better the devil you know. <laughs> this looks like it could be uh, fiddly. Right, your best bet's get the uh, put them on the bolt first, and then try and thread it in. Always best to keep wheeling, so you don't get any tight spots, and definitely not cross thread it. Otherwise, then you're all fucked. So pipe off. So now fluid will be trickling into there. Yeah. But you've got to force it through. But main thing he's looking for is if this starts leaking straight away, then you know you've got a problem with either the washers or it's not tight enough. Because we're doing both sides, fit both sides, then bleed it. Uh, don't really matter to be honest. It's, it's broad as long. You're still going to have airing systems, so the both of them need bleeding anyway. Uh, Probably be tempted to do one side, so at least you know you've got one, rather than trying to push two sets of air right, in. Yeah. At least now you've only got one side that's trying to fill this piston with fluid. So is that what we're doing now? Yeah, we'll... Uh, Bleedy boy. Yeah. Benefit of not having rusty arches. <laughs> yeah. Good girl. All right, down slowly. All the way 
Down slow. Yeah. Oh. Down slow. Oh. Just pump it up. It's obviously pistons further back, so we just pump it up so it gets the pads and the sugar solid, and then just like fairly jump on it and hold it on. Yeah, it's good, that. Happy as Larry. So the old one were tight as old. Yeah, it were, Just about it? turn it with bar in between. But that seems to be a problem with that. So we've so definitely eliminated. I'd say the only other thing really it could have been with these flexes where they break off inside. Well, I'd say they usually just break the flap down and then you just get a block of pressure here, so it's basically clamping that off. So right, hopefully yeah. it gets to here, so that basically just doesn't, there's no braking effort. So then you get a dive into one side, but I'd say in brake tester we're getting definitely readings on it, but i say you just got the bind. Awesome, happy days. Yeah, I did think it was going to be like more of an involved job to do, to be fair, but it's not, is it? No. See, I've said it before in videos, I'll say it again. I'm no expert on working on cars by any means. Uh, one of the main reasons I bought this car was to work on it and learn on it. So that's exactly what I intend to do with it. So I'm going to crack on and hopefully not make the problem any worse. Dog's here. Doggy's here. Hello, little doggy. Hello, little doggy. Hello, little doggy. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Caliper changed, bled up, wheels back on and road test, I suppose. God, I want to drive this car properly again. So bad! This all definitely needs an overhaul under here. Look at this. Oh no. I'll, I'll, I'll do it one day. It feels miles better already. Yeah, brake in. Not diving to the right. But it's not pulling to the left anymore. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Brake, no pull into the right. Oh, yes! Woohoohoo! Oh my god, I'm so over the moon. Oh, it feels, it actually feels connected again. Oh, yes! I've got my car back! Yes! So that's gonna be it for this week. I'm all on the moon, the car's fixed. I can actually drive it properly. If you have enjoyed, make sure you press subscribe, leave a like, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.